everybody, I'm Roxy and this is Rick Me BS. Finally, summer break. Everyone's having one except me because here it's not summer break, it's winter break. And although winter break is not as long and I will still have to work for the most part, I will have like three weeks where this the vacations at the school and the vacations at college kind of coincide and I will have three wonderful responsibility free weeks except for the fact that I'm finally getting my driver's license so yay so yeah I'm going to be doing a lot of things still so I'm a little iffy whether I'm actually going to be able to finish this TBR but here goes nothing this is my winter break TBR there are like 30 books here so it's like yeah so the first book I actually want to check out from the library it's Chocolat by I don't remember who I'm going to like leave the cover here I saw the movie loved it I think the book is going to be perfect for a winter night you know just uh, the other book I will also want to check out from my library is the best American essays of the 20th century I actually read like three essays here one I hated two I loved there are so many different writers from Mark Twain to I don't know like a lot of different people have voices here so of course I'm not going to like every single essay but I just love 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 old school essays so I'm going to start with my physical TBR some of these books I actually don't aim to read completely I'm, I'm going to talk about that as we go first book I'm going to want to read is Dubliners by James Joyce I actually talk a little bit about this book because the Berkeley X book club is starting in the first of July I think I'm going to leave the link here to the video a mixture between a book club and a literature class it's run by teachers and moderators and you have to look for very specific academic stuff here but it's also very enjoyable you get to learn a ton and I was just I couldn't resist and I actually took a little peek to the first story and oh my god so much fun it's just James Joyce I mean I've only read uh, the portrait of, of the artist as a young man but I love that and so yeah and I'm going to leave the link to the course below so you can check it out maybe you want to join I'm also doing the Christmas Carol one uh, again the video is yeah it's basically the same dynamic now let's start with the other thing I want to read Grasshopper Jungle uh, by Andrew Smith I've been waiting a long time to read this I mean I waited a long time to actually buy it and then I haven't read it for the longest time so I, ha I had a lot of faith in this until I heard that this is the guy who wrote Winger which sounds terrible I don't read much way but this sounds crazy and cringy because I don't like any kinds of bugs, insects, arachnids, nothing at all so yeah, I'm going to give this a try. The other book I'm actually so excited for is The People in the Trees by Hania Yana Gihara. Um, this is for the Pop Sugar Challenge, it takes place on an island. And this is about a um, scientist that discovers an island and he wants to study, to learn, and you know, science reasons. But of course, big business and corporate get to the island and make a business out of it and I think it's it's something like that it sounds super interesting maybe I'm talking uh, nonsense and you who have read the book it's actually completely different but then I'm going to be reading Jane Eyre a very good friend of mine really really loves this piece and I don't know why I haven't read it so far I should. Somewhere in there I want to read uh, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, which is actually a reread, but I'm rereading, um, I've read like three Narnia books, I want to read the whole series in uh, not publication order, but like chronological order, this is the second one, and yeah, I have to be honest, I don't remember that much out of it, I, I'm looking forward to it. This, uh, I, I don't really remember what this is about, but this is F a novel by Daniel Kalman. This, I was in Washington, right, and in Kramer Books it was uh, being recommended by the staff and I, I said, no, I have bought so many books already, I don't I don't need to, to buy more books. Uh, Washington DC, by the way. Then I got back to New York and at Strand Bookstore they had also hearing like the future of writing. I thought, okay, 
I just have to get it. It's about a man who doesn't believe in hypnosis. Um, and he goes to like a fair or something like that and he gets hypnotized. And yeah, the sequels are terrible and it's supposed to be great. I mean, people who I, I respect a lot have said this is amazing. So I'm so excited for it. I'm going to check out at least half of Alice Munro's Dear Life short stories. I read like one short story by Alice Munro, thought it was genius. I don't know if it's the one here or not. Then I'm going to be reading A Movable Fist by Ernest Hemingway. Basically just Ernest Hemingway being a writer and doing what old school writers did, which was hang out and drink and party a lot. Then I'm going to jump onto a bandwagon that it's probably pretty old on booktube, but this book actually only arrived to Chile this year, or oh, last year, sorry, last year, but like at the end of last year. I wanted to get it in English and then I thought, ah, what the hell. Ready Play One by Ernest Clive. I've heard that this is amazing. It's full of 80s nostalgia, which is I'm a 90s baby. I'm actually half 90s, half millennials, so yeah. But uh, it's, it's supposed to be great. I want to read Mrs. Dalloway six months ago, I say. I want to get my Virginia Woolf on. Uh, but actually with another book by her, like The Voyage Out, and I didn't. So then again, my friend who loves Jane Eyre said he loved Mrs. Dalloway, that it was a brilliant masterpiece. And also we analyzed it quite closely in relation to The Great Gatsby and The Wasteland. So, but we didn't read like the whole book. So yes, I'm very excited about this. Then this is a book I got in New York. I raved about it on Instagram. I'm going to leave the link down below. It's just Gaberly. Need I say more? But this is a non-fiction book. It's Berlin, the gay scene before the uh, Nazi. Then I want to read The Great Glass Sea by Josh Weil, 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 something like that. This, I don't remember. <laughs> A lot of it. I, I, okay. It was sort of a cover by. I did read the like the bag and the the dust jacket, everything. This one like a Pulitzer for under thirty five writers, and um, it sounded so interesting. I remember it was about twins and war. I think. I'm sure it's great. I have great taste. Also, it was a freaking dollar at Book of US. So. Ugh. So these books I don't want to finish, I just want to get into because as I've told you before, I multi-read, so yeah. I want to read A Clash of Kings, even if it's like the first 100 pages. The review for Game of Thrones is coming um, soon, sometime soon. Yeah, even if I get 100 pages into it, I just want to start. Another book like that, I want to continue with Blonde. I just lost momentum with this one and this is very interesting. It's about the life of Marilyn Monroe It's fiction. It's, it's fiction about like the figure of Marilyn, which I, I think it great. it's great I, I've read non-fiction about her and this is my first fiction. Uh, yeah, I really 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 want to uh, read this. Anyways, if I have time, I also want to get through with these two books that I actually have in my room. I just didn't bring it he them here because they were, they were some somewhere else and I just forgot. And it's about New York. I actually want to make a review of it if I finish it anytime soon. And the other is about linguistics and it's amazing. And the only reason I've taken such a long time to finish these two is that I want to read them when I'm like really awake and I have all my gear to highlight and mark pages and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm not always in the mood to do that, and I think that's it. Okay, so this was my winter break TBR. If you have anything to comment about this, please do so. I know I haven't done much booktube, probably not a lot of people notice either way, but <laughs> I will continue. I, I want to do this like uh, 10 book or 5 book wrap up thingies, but, but I, I'm going to try. Uh, if you have read any of these books, especially the ones like I didn't really know a lot about, please tell me because I would love to know. And that is it. Yeah, oh, I forgot to promo. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, check out my channel in Spanish, and uh, yeah, that's it. Check out the Facebook page, sometimes I share things 
there are a couple of articles and stuff like that very interesting stuff that I didn't write I just shared so yeah and that is it see you next time shit okay I just dropped something important I look terrible I know it's just I came home from dance practice and I have to leave everything ready for tomorrow uh, because I teach a class at like 8 o'clock luckily I live nearby the school where I teach but still yeah I look like well I've looked worse I look I've looked more trashed I've flushed my bra I've, I've looked worse so okay Ra mini wrap ups with uh, five by the way look at all these books these are all books I have to grade on papers oh my god but of course cor corporate uh, that I should have jumped then I'm joining this and it's by James uh, James sorry it is by Joyce Carol Oates which is the woman editor of the um, essay thing I, I told you by the way this book was a copy that was given to me by a friend who I haven't spoken to in a long long time and I hope he's doing well. So then, my thoughts to you. I hope you're 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 great.